Do you agree? Yeah. What happened at the end? And what, uh, sometimes this is a possibility that in the early pitches, first few pitches, there was more focus, more concentration, more intent on the assignment I gave you. The pitcher's common denominator, I'm trying to see the ball early in the, in the flight path, and trying to, you know, I guess match that pattern that we just, we just talked about with your eyes. Yeah. And then as we progressed later pitches, it sort of slipped away. You think that's what happened? Yeah. I, I do too. So let, let's get back to work. Here we go. The word intent, what is it short for? The short form of what word? Intention. Say it again. Intention. Yeah, intent is short for intention. Yes. And right now, you know specifically what I've asked you to do. What is the intention to do with your right eye, right? I'm going to do it. That was a wonderful hitting session we had with Jonah today. Jonah's been with us for a number of years. What a wonderful job he did. He's well acquainted with our concepts. And a little bit about past history is this. Usually when Jonah would come in to work with us, that would take about maybe sometimes five or 10 minutes to really get him back on, tr on track to where he's hitting airplanes naturally. It was a wonderful experience for me to have him jump right in and really apply our, our principles for hitting timing and hitting spatial alertness. When I have a player like this who's well acquainted with our, our philosophies and our, and our uh, concepts, the main area we, we put a most of our attention is to the starting line. How the hitter will transition himself from watching the pitcher to picking up the flight path the, of the ball. It sounds pretty simple, it sounds easy, but there's a lot of details that go into this. What really assists the hitter more consistent with picking up the ball early in the flight path is understanding the pitcher's common denominator. The common denominator is important because not every pitcher has the same delivery. There's different variations, there's different compositions you see from pitcher to pitcher. Clayton Kershaw has different features about what he does. Uh, Trevor Bauer has certain features that he does. But all these pitchers have one thing in common, and that's the common denominator. So when they, the hitter is focusing on getting his timing based upon that, there's no more guesswork. It's black and white, and it makes it easier and practical to apply all the other timing rules and really timing your thoughts and getting your eyes in position at the right time because there is timing with your vision. The biggest part that this helps be better game hitters when it counts the most. They take these, these applications when you go into the game, it doesn't matter anymore. The moment the pitchers come around the corner to throw you your ball, to throw the pitch, you can just throw out your shoulders, your hips, your elbows, your knees, your wrist, weight, weight distribution. All you care about is the ball. What is the speed of the ball and where's the ball gonna go? My son, blessed and very humble, was called, was called to the big leagues this year in the, in the playoff series. It was inundated with a lot of information about the starting pitchers that he was about to see. And I asked him, and it would give him information about, okay, 
on this particular count, this is what the pitcher likes to throw. On this particular situation, this is what the pitcher does to lefties. This is what he does to the righties. Okay, all these percentages, all these possibilities. You know what I mean? What the, what's the formula? What to look for? I said, son. I said, Alex. Really, stop and think about it. If you're honest with yourself, the moment the pitcher is coming around the corner with your pitch, are you thinking about those percentages? <laughs> no. I'm thinking about this ball because it may not be where he's, he says it's going to be. I just have to react to the speed of the pitch and the space the ball is moving into. And that is the, the bulk. That is the, the concept I'm teaching players. When you train your hitting, you are going to delay your hitting development unless you train this way. When you're in acceleration phase, the only thing you should train your mind to do is to think about the ball and think about the data that the brain is waiting for from your eyes about that ball. When you get into deceleration phase, right brain hemisphere training, that is when you think about your mechanics. After you hit the ball, as odd as it seems, it really works. So listen, I can help your hitter. Baseball or softball, I can help your team improve the offensive production, most natural way of doing it. It relies on neuroscience, it relies on biomechanics, but when you melt it all down, it comes to how are we programming our hitters to think at home plate? Are you thinking more about your exit speed, launch angles, legs, or are we training the hitters to think about what really matters the most, that baseball? I'm Dave Kurloff. Languageating.com. Be blessed with the graces and mercies of our Lord Jesus Christ.